Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module four, lesson three. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective here. It says I can evaluate a numerical expression using the order of operations. And remember, the order of operations is also stated as PEMDAS. The learning objective here is use the order of operations to evaluate numerical expressions. In the prior learning is students represented statements of multiplicative comparison as multiplication equations, and students represented and solved multi-step word problems using equations. All right, now moving into the lesson, starting with the spark your learning. There's a word problem that reads, Mr. North's music club writes a song together. Each verse of the song has six lines, and each chorus has two lines. If the song has four verses and choruses, how many lines does the song have in all? Draw a visual model to show the problem and explain your reasoning. All right, so I'm going to use some color since there's two things going on. In blue, I'm going to be paying attention to the verses, and then I'm going to use a different line or a different color for the course. So it says, Mr. North's music club writes a song together. Each verse of the song has six lines. So each verse has six lines. And then each chorus has two lines. And then the important part says if the song has four verses in all. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to draw what's happening here. So it says each verse has six lines and each chorus has two lines. So if the song has four verses and choruses, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my verse and I'm going to draw six lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then my chorus has two lines. Okay. So together, my verse and my chorus would be eight. And I know that I have a total of four of these. So I have four verses in chorus. So I'm going to have eight. And then if I did it again, I'm going to have another eight. If I did it again, I'm going to have another eight. And if I did it again, I'm going to have another eight lines. Okay. This is just a shortcut. So I don't have to be drawing the different lines in the different colors, right? If I know my total, I can show um, what I'm doing with just numbers. All right. So what I have here is I have eight repeated addition, it's happening four times, or I can just multiply by four, showing that there are going to be 32 lines in this written song together. All right, so I'm going to use this to go on to the next problem. On page 84, the build understanding number one reads, a club is making a music video. A group of 12 singers perform the first verse. Three different groups of six singers perform the other three verses. The numerical expression 12 plus 3 times 6 models the situation. How many singers are making the music video? Okay, so I'm going to explain how they did this. So before it says a club is making a music video, a group of 12 singers. So I have 12 singers here, and that's marked as the 12 here. All right, it says three different groups, so that three groups is shown here. So three groups of 12 singers. That's why the three and the six are being multiplied together because there's six singers in each group and there's three groups. So these are kind of related. So six singers in the three groups being multiplied together. Then there's a different 12 singers in the first verse. Okay. So that's how the expression is broken down. Now, I have five questions here that I am going to try to explain a little bit before, and then I'm going to give you a chance to do it independently. First, I want to go over to the side where it says um, connect to vocabulary. Now, I'm going to skip down to the second one where it says the order of operations is a set of rules for evaluating a numerical expression. Okay, Many of you have probably seen this as PEMDAS. All right, and I'm just going to make a note up at the top that the P stands for parentheses, the E exponent, which isn't coming yet, would be just like the powers of 10, what we were doing. 
The M and the D go together as a group. You're doing it from left to right, which we'll see in a second. That's going to be multiplication and division. And then the A and the S go together as a group moving from left to right. That's going to be your addition and subtraction. Okay, so I'm just going to keep that little note up at the top. All right, so it says, number one, perform operations in parentheses. So do everything with parentheses first. Anything inside of parentheses has to be done first. Once you finish that, then you may move on to multiplication or division. Do them both in the same step. Whichever one comes first, do that one first. Then once the parentheses and the multiplication are out of the problem, all you're left with is addition and subtraction. Go ahead and do those. You're going to add and subtract, and you're doing those left to right. Okay, so now let's go over what the problems are asking. A says which operations are modeled in the numerical expression. So do you have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division? B, when you evaluate the numerical expression, that means solve, which operation should be done first? So according to our rules, which part of the problem are you going to be doing first? And how do you know? C, describe how to evaluate or solve 12 plus 3 times 6. Remember your order, which one are you going to be doing first, and how are you going to be solving it? D, evaluate, solve, the numerical expression, then explain what your answer means in the situation. And then E, how many singers are making the music video? All right, go ahead and try to do this entire page, and then we're going to hit pause here. All right, let's go ahead and go over this. So for A, which operations are modeled in the numerical expression? Well, we have an addition and a multiplication. First is our addition, and we have our multiplication. All right, B, when you evaluate the numerical expression, which operation should be done first? Well, if we look over to our notes over to the right, we didn't have any parentheses, and then it says multiplied, multiply or divide. So we have to do that multiplication problem first. So what we have to say is, which operation should be done first? We need to be multiplying first. And how do you know? Because I followed my rules of orders of operation. So I'm just going to put orders of operation. All right, C, describe how to evaluate the 12 plus 3 times 6. So first, I'm going to take my 3 times my 6, <clears throat> and I know that that equals 18. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 18, and I'm going to add 12 to be equal to my 30. So those are my steps that I'm going to be taking. And then D says evaluate the numerical expression, which we did up in C. <clears throat> then explain what your answer means in the situation. So my answer is 30, and what does that 30 mean? Remember, we were looking for how many singers are making the music video. So the 30 is the amount of singers. And that will follow into E, how many singers are making the music video. We have 30 singers. All right, that is it for today. Go ahead and finish the rest of this lesson, and I will see you for Module 4, Lesson 4.